Okay, so yesterday I talked about Lexi Blake's first book, um, Ruthless. Uh, it's her first book in the Lawless series, and I said that this one was really well, good, really well written. Um, well, her second book is Satisfaction. Um, it follows the life of Brandon Lawless. He did not change his last name. He stuck by Drew's side. The eldest brother. However, and the, it'll go over this in the beginning. When Drew saved them all from the fire in the beginning of the first book, they got separated. They got put into the system and they were adopted separately. Some of them didn't get adopted at all. Bran had a hard life in the system. And as a result, he suffers with major anger issues and a small, slightly small hero complex. He has to save the day. Part of the reasons, reason that he goes to strip clubs and bars with uh, the family friend Hatch is because there's always at least one fight that breaks out and he has to go save the girl. Well, after what happened between Riley and Elle, Ellie, Bran started feeling really bad about what some of what they were doing. So when they go after the next bad person, next bad guy, Patricia Kane, they try to go through her assistant. They set up a blind date, and Drew was gonna go. Drew is socially awkward, okay? He cannot talk to a girl at all. He cannot... He's too blunt, straightforward, and it has nothing to do with computers. He's pretty much at a loss. So, anyway, they're all sitting there, and they're getting ready for Drew to just stroll in, and they're watching, and they're waiting, and... They're all got their secret of mics and everything. Like I said, if, the, if you didn't see the beginning and didn't know that they were just a family trying to get revenge, you'd think they were in this shit for real. But they're not. However, Bran gets a conscience. He throws out his headphone and he tosses the mic and he goes over to the secretary. Carly, um, and, and she's normal, I mean, she's not stick thin, and she's kind of shy. She doesn't do these things, she doesn't do internet dates, she doesn't date. She just got out of a bad marriage, and her self-confidence took a hit, and now she's got a collector from the friggin' mob calling her. Saying that her ex owes her money and divorce doesn't mean shit to him. So she's not in a good place. But Bran is not going to put her in a line of fire. He does not want to do to her what they did to Ellie. It, it, it's not sitting right with him. It's the hero complex. And he wants to give her a shot to come over and just help him. Patricia is a horrible woman, so there's a, at least a small possibility that she'll switch. And Bran's immediately attracted to her, and he tries to tell her he's warped, like he can't have a relationship, but that doesn't stop her. No, 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 no. This book is really funny because, well, Brian doesn't usually take a whole lot seriously, and that's partially because of his issues, but he's also very protective and very, he gets very, very much in love with Carly, and Carly finds her wings with him. She starts standing up for herself. She wants to help the family. She hates Patricia for what she's done to them, to her, and her family. It's, 
and she wants to help stop it. And through all of this, it's finding out more secrets unfold, more lies come out, and then there's more questions at the end. With a major, major bombshell here. You have to read the ending of this book. There is a major bomb that goes off here. A twist I didn't even see coming. So, you have to read it to figure it out. And that's all I'm going to say about this book without trying to give more stuff away. I got my friend Lynette hooked on this. And she's not sorry about it at all. But right now she's reading the Fever series. So, she hasn't read the third book in this yet. Which is what I'm going to do next. So... Excuse me, I will attempt not to do spoilers and everything for those who haven't read it. If you had read it, I would love to hear comments. You know, um, if you want to read it, go for it and ask some questions about it. I'd, I'd love to hear some input on it. And remember, the name of this book is Satisfaction. It's the second book by Lexi Blake in her Lawless Trilogy. It's relatively new, so look for it. It's awesome. And as always, happy reading.